How does a black hole form? Today, we embark on an insightful exploration of gamma ray bursts, those celestial spectacles that have intrigued scientists for generations. Imagine the vastness of space, marked by cosmic storms, intense heat, and particles tearing atoms apart, causing a profound distortion of the universe. Now, let's fast forward to the 60s, a pivotal era during the Cold War. As the world banned above-ground nuclear tests, satellites like Vela took center stage, becoming our cosmic detectives, spotting gamma-ray bursts, intense particles born from the chaotic decay of atomic nuclei. It took scientists over 30 years to unravel these mysteries, and the breakthroughs came with telescopes like Chandra, Integral, Heti-2, and Swift. So stick around until the end as we will uncover the extragalactic origins of these bursts, linking them to supernovae and even the birth of black holes. We will cover all that and more in today's video. In the vast expanse of space, amidst a tumultuous cosmic storm, intense heat and high velocities prevail. Atoms are torn apart, causing the literal distortion of space itself. Photons, propelled to their natural limits, traverse the universe and after billions of years, reach the detectors of spacecraft stationed above our atmosphere. This capability to capture these phenomena marks a new era in high-energy astronomy providing unprecedented insights into nature's extremes. Witnessing the violent birth of a black hole opens avenues for profound learning. Throughout history, there were moments when our comprehension of the universe faced impasses. Our understanding of time, space, and the essence of matter and energy did not align entirely with observable phenomena. Such debates were exemplified in the spring of 1920 at the National Academy of Sciences in Washington, D.C. Renowned astronomer Harlow Shapley, recognized for groundbreaking work on our galaxy's size and the sun's position, described the galaxy as an independent universe. He argued that the enigmatic spiral nebulae were mere gas clouds. On the other side, Heber Curtis asserted that some nebulae were also independent universes, echoing ideas proposed by Immanuel Kant 165 years earlier. The breakthrough came with the advent of powerful telescopes that measured the distance to these mysterious objects. Edwin Hubble's data, post-Great Debate, revealed that spiral nebulae extended far beyond the Milky Way. This discovery reshaped our understanding of a vast, expanding universe teeming with galaxies. Despite progress, the dynamic nature of the universe continues to elude us. The essential details became increasingly elusive as we delved deeper into the intricacies of matter and energy. One of the most profound mysteries emerged in the 1960s during a period of global nuclear proliferation. In 1963, the United States, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom signed the Limited Test Ban Treaty, prohibiting above-ground nuclear testing. To enforce compliance, the United States deployed six pairs of satellites named Vela, tasked with detecting gamma rays, a distinctive signal of nuclear explosions. Gamma rays represent an extremely high-energy form of electromagnetic radiation a concept referring to particles known as photons emanating from an energy source. The lowest energy variant, radio waves, stretches up to 300 meters in wavelength. While invisible to the naked eye, these rays occur naturally, such as during lightning flashes. Human eyes are attuned to detect much smaller visible wavelengths, reaching down to 400 nanometers or 400 billionths of a meter. Beyond this, ultraviolet light carries even more energy, featuring a wavelength as short as 10 nanometers. X-rays capable of penetrating soft tissues in our bodies can have wavelengths as short as one hundredth of a nanometer. Notably, gamma rays carry such immense energy that their wavelength can be less than 10 picometers, even surpassing the diameter of an atom. Termed as ionizing radiation, gamma rays possess the potential to strip electrons from atoms in the body, leading to lethal consequences with heavy exposure. Fortunately, gamma rays from space are unable to penetrate our atmosphere. Nevertheless, a theory suggests that a nearby gamma ray burst may have triggered a mass extinction 440 million years ago, 
by disrupting Earth's ozone layer and permitting a deluge of deadly ultraviolet radiation. In contrast to lower energy electromagnetic radiation, gamma rays result from the often tumultuous decay of atomic nuclei in nuclear reactions. In the pursuit of clandestine nuclear tests, the Vela-3 and Vela-4 satellites detected an anomalous gamma radiation flash on July 2, 1967. Subsequent launches of additional Vela satellites revealed a series of mysterious bursts, prompting an investigation by a team at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Despite narrowing down the sky positions of 16 bursts and dismissing terrestrial or solar origins, it took over 30 years to unravel their nature. The launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990 preceded the deployment of the 17-ton Compton Gamma Ray Observatory, aiming to create a comprehensive map of gamma ray bursts. Over a thousand detections demonstrated random distribution across the sky, sparking a 1995 debate on the burst origins. Donald Lamb from the University of Chicago proposed a connection to a recently discovered group of neutron stars in our galaxy's halo, while Bodan Padzinski of Princeton University argued that burst locations aligned with the general layout of galaxies and quasars. However, Padzinski conceded that at such distances, the bursts would need to be the most luminous objects in the known universe, with a third disappearing in less than two seconds and the remainder fading within minutes. The question remained, were these bursts mere stellar phenomena in our cosmic vicinity, or did they signify something more violent and fundamental to the fabric of time and space? In the subsequent years, a transformative revolution unfolded in the realm of high-energy astronomy. The Chandra X-ray Observatory, launched in 1997, marked the beginning of this era. Following this, the Gamma Ray Satellites Integral, 2002, and HETI-2, 2003, were deployed. In 2004, the formidable Gamma Ray Hunter Swift took its place in orbit. Armed with ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray sensors, SWIFT aimed to identify up to 100 gamma ray bursts annually, transmitting their precise locations to Earth within seconds. This rapid relay facilitated ground-based astronomers promptly directing their telescopes toward the source to capture the afterglow, enabling distance measurements and insights into the root cause. The initial clues emerged in early 1997 when the BEPO-SACS satellite detected a burst, and the Hubble Space Telescope captured the fading afterglow, indicating an extragalactic origin. Subsequent analysis of light from ground telescopes suggested an association with supernovae. This connection strengthened over time with bursts in 1998, 2003, and 2006 coinciding with supernovae. These bursts, however, were no ordinary explosions. Their immense energy release and extreme brightness captivated scientists. Notably, a burst recorded on March 19, 2008, originating 7.5 billion light years away, confirmed suspicions of a narrow, immensely powerful beam of light causing the observed phenomena. Such occurrences are not rare in the universe as high-speed jets and beams emerge when matter rapidly falls into celestial bodies like stars, galaxies, or black holes. The SWIFT satellite recorded a burst on September 13, 2008, equivalent to the power of 9,000 supernovae, featuring a jet traveling at 99.9999% of the speed of light. On April 29, 2009, astronomers observed the second most distant object ever recorded, a gamma ray burst whose journey commenced 13.14 billion years ago. These bursts are now regarded as valuable probes for unraveling the chemical evolution of the cosmos since the inception of stars and galaxies. Delving into the mechanism behind such beacons, a team of scientists turned their attention to the giant galaxy M87, located 50 million light years away. Utilizing the Event Horizon Telescope and interconnected system of telescopes, 
they focused on sub-millimeter radio waves with the precise frequency to penetrate the core of M87. This galaxy hosts one of the most massive black holes known, with a mass of 6.6 .6 billion solar masses. The telescope's resolution allowed scientists to gather data on the region beyond the event horizon, unveiling a continuous jet emanating from M87's core influenced by extreme gravity and Albert Einstein's concept of frame dragging. As matter succumbs to the black hole's gravitational pull, forming an accretion disk that spirals in with the flow of space-time, the spinning motion gives rise to high-energy beams or jets. A supercomputer simulation based on a gamma-ray burst recorded by Swift in 2005 depicted how such jets could form from the catastrophic embrace of two dead stars orbiting each other, gradually merging at the end of their cosmic dance. NASA scientists meticulously recreated the final 35 thousandths of a second, leading to the formation of a black hole. As the two objects draw closer, their mass transforms into a compact, hot cloud of swirling debris, depicted on the left side of the image. On the right, Magnetic fields emerge, spiraling off from this cloud. The blue color indicates magnetic strength a billion times greater than the sun's. These fields start directing a plasma cloud around the newly formed black hole. Amidst the chaos, order gradually emerges, and the magnetic field transforms into a jet-like structure. Less than a second after the black hole's birth, it propels a jet of particles at a speed nearing that of light. A similar sequence of events occurring during the demise of a massive star leads to prolonged gamma-ray bursts. Stars counteract gravity by emitting photons that exert outward pressure on their massive bodies. However, accumulating heavy elements produced in nuclear fusion increases the core's weight, leading to collapse. The resulting crash generates a shock wave that races through the star, annihilating it. In the case of the largest dying stars known as hypernova, a black hole forms during the collapse. Matter flowing in forms a disk, and charged particles create magnetic fields that release a portion in high-speed jets. Simulations reveal that these jets possess enough power to penetrate the star, potentially triggering the explosion. The birth of a black hole isn't merely a cosmic spectacle, it is a pivotal event in dispersing heavy elements that contribute to forming new solar systems and planets. The recorded gamma ray burst on March 2011 by the SWIFT satellite was an extraordinary event. Originating from a typically calm galaxy in the constellation Draco, 3.8 billion light years away, it lasted an unprecedented four and a half hours. Scientific analysis ruled out a supernova as the source and suggested that a large star may have been disrupted during an encounter with another star, veering too close to a supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. This scenario resulted in the black hole tearing the star apart and launching a jet of matter directly toward Earth. Fortunately, this cosmic explosion occurred at a considerable distance, sparing us from the potential impact of a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Astronomers have observed massive stars accelerated to high speeds by this formidable celestial entity. If one of these stars deviates from its path, it could fall victim to the black hole's influence, announcing its conquest with a brilliant flash visible throughout the universe. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.